Nelson here from the Outdoor Line Radio Program, also Potsky Pro Staffer. One of the most significant crab bait and shrimp bait innovations that, that I've seen probably in the past decade is Potsky Crab and Shrimp Fuel, okay? It's, it's a semi-solid suspension liquid, but it has a lot of oil in it. Oil is an absolutely key element to any kind of shell fishing because oil doesn't mix with water. Because it doesn't mix with water, it's, it's a very dependable scent dispersion system. And that's what we're going to do right now. But we have to give it some grip. We have to give it something to absorb into. So what we got here is uh, last year's bait. Not going to lie. Okay, we all got some of this in our freezer. We Maybe we overbuy some bait. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take this stuff out. And you know what bad bait looks like. It's It's got salt crystals. There's some discoloration. It just gets this freezer funk. And, and it won't fish as well as, as it should for salmon. But crabs love it. And one of the reasons crabs do love it is we're going we're gonna to grind it up. So we got this, uh, got this old school grinder here. Don't need any power. Use it right on the boat. We got our bait cups here handy. So what we're going to do is launch a bait cup down here. Okay. And we're going to turn on the old Nelly powered grinder here and turn this old bait into some useful crab, in, into some useful crab stuff here. And just grind it up. Just have to break it up. Doesn't have to be pretty. Okay. Drop it right in the bait cup. So what we're doing is then we're making all these fines here. Now what we're we're opening up the herring and and giving the shrimp fuel something that it can that it can grab grab onto. See now we've opened up that herring and now that shrimp and, and crab fuel will absorb right into it. Okay, so once we got like say half a dozen of these old herring kind of busted up a bit, right? Ground up. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get them in a bait cup. All right. Then. We add, we add the Potsky crab and shrimp fuel. And watch what this does to this old bait. You're actually looking at a total absorption in that herring, okay? So not only does it slow the release of the crab and shrimp fuel, okay? But it also, by opening up these herring, you're, you're getting the herring oil in there as well. We're gonna put a cap on this, put it in a, put it in a pot, and it's gonna fish incredibly. We're gonna, so, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this stuff up. We're going to deploy some crab gear, and we're going to see just how this stuff works on a short soak here in Puget Sound. Um, Got to love the solid pots. This has its own bait tunnel right in the middle of it. We're going to take a couple salmon heads. This is our hanging bait that will keep uh, crabs in there because there's something to eat. Okay. So then we already showed you earlier the mixture of the Potsky uh, crab and shrimp fuel okay, with the ground up herring. That's our broadcast bait. We're going to set that on top. Drop this here. We ready to go, Captain Dwayne? Yep. Okay. So just keep rattling forward. Here we go. Pot one. Fun in the sun. It's been about uh, five hours soak, and uh, Nelly is getting ready to pull the crab traps, and we're going to see if this crab and shrimp fuel works. So you guys will get to see as quick as we do. We're getting set up here. Has it been five hours? Five hours. Has it? Around there. Okay. Close to it, at least. All right. I think there's going to be crabs in this one? I have a feeling. If we get to it. Keep going. Turn left, turn left, turn left. Turn left hard. Get a little gas. There you go. Keep turning left. There you go. Keep turning left. There you go. You got her. Nice. Neutral. The moment of truth. There will be a few moments. The easy way. <laughs> there will be a few moments before there's actually truth, right? Although, is this the one that there was no uh, scent no. in? This is the first no, one or the last have. one? This is the first one we set. Okay. We set six pots. Right. Five of them have Potsky shrimp and crab fuel. One of them does not as a control pot. So we're just gonna do, do a little check here, see what out, see what out, how they fit.
Get it's tired? Getting, it's getting closer. <laughs> this pothole is no business. Wow, we got the... Uh, yeah, There's the, one the door got out. popped open, we still have keepers in there. Look at that. That looks good. Well, uh, so nice. there's a, yeah. So the door somehow the door got popped open, but there's still, you know, a very nice keeper. That's uh, he's seven inches across the back. Okay, decent keeper. Uh, maybe another keeper in there. And you can see that this is the one we put down there. Yeah. Because there's the uh, crab and shrimp. Well, yeah. And the interesting in thing, the to, the interesting thing to me is they stayed in the pot even though it came up, and this door. Um, should have been, been latched. Yeah. It, it should not have unlatched. Yep. So even though there was, you know, a, a really short soak. Okay. So here's what you saw the bait as it went in. Okay. Here's what the bait looks like after the soak. You, you still see, see it, right? So it. now, if you bring the camera over here, since we're done crabbing for the day, we're just going to go ahead and rinse this out. And now look, look how strong that still is after a four or five hour soak. So. You, you know, when you have that left in your pot, you got a pot that the door was left open on, and still you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crabs. We'll you know, it. that is uh, that's pretty effective bait. We'll take it. It's pretty effective bait. That's a keeper. Two keepers. Nice. All these on a short soak, man. I mean, typically you leave your gear overnight or through a tide change, right? Yeah. Typically. All right. Right, step in the foot of this. Yeah, a couple times. Right. Yeah. I'm used to it now. Okay. okay, so the cool thing about these pots are they save you some space on deck. And now we can, because four pots fit in the same footprint as one. So this guy, who, dude, nice crab. So he's in there. This guy. Yeah, you know what? We'll let him go. Okay. And other two Schmally von Schmallersons. There we go. One more. One more. You see him? He's hiding. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, Baby. That'd be good. And uh, here's what's left just the Plotsky stuff washed nicely and uh, still work. Still with the Plotsky crab and shrimp fuel. Close. See it coming up on the sounder, Dwayne? There it is. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hangers on. Whoa. Nice. Holy. Loaded pot, dude. Look at that. That's some good stuff right there. That's some good stuff. Yeah, boy. All right, so now we're talking. Uh, a pot that was actually closed in fishing, right? That they couldn't get out. They couldn't get out of. All right. And yes, folks, there is the crab and shrimp fuel. Here's the crab and still shrimp fuel there. still in here. And let's look at this. Okay, now oh, it washed out a little bit more, but now right. we'll still see that, you know, it was still very, very effective. Okay. This is a dandy for these waters. Almost, uh, you know, I mean, that's seven inches across the back. This one, also no question keeper, right? Okay. Test him for firmness when the shell's that bright. He's just fine. He's a keeper. Okay. Um, this one is a little bit shy. He can go back. This one is no question a keeper. So oh, what yeah. do we get? We got three keepers out of out of that pole, and there were seven, eight crabs in there. So uh, perfect. Yeah. More shall come. Not gonna complain about that. And here she be. Boy, there's a dandy in there. Yeah, the size of him, that's <laughs> the biggest crap we got yet. I'm just gonna turn around so we're drifting right That's there. fine, buddy. Right. Look at the size of him. Oh, baby. A nice crab right there. Nicely, nice. Nice, nice. nice. He's gonna go in with the rest of his buddies right friends. there. Okay, there's a keeper here. Okay, nice. Okay, 
There's a keeper there, three keepers. And uh, seven or eight sublegals. Three keepers out of that pot. That's a decent pull. Look what we got in there. Pack of 10 crab in there so far. You know? Not a bad deal. Four crabs, but I don't know if we got any keepers. That was this one. <laughs> no keepers. No keepers. But we got crabs. There's crabs, but no keepers. We did well. That was right there. Okay, so this is our control pot. This is the pot without Potsky shrimp and crab fuel. So we had we had some uh, same kind of stuff we've been fishing with with the salmon heads. Um, and, uh, and this is one of my better locations too. So we'll just see what it has to offer. If you look up at the sound, I can't see right now. One crab. One crab. One crab. It, it is a keeper. It, it is looks, a keeper. It but is it is keeper, one crab. But that really speaks to the, to the effectiveness that I've experienced this year, not only in the shrimp fisheries, but but in the crab fisheries. Okay, it's a keeper, and I'm glad it's a keeper. But if you look at all the life that was in those other pots, we had males, we had females, we had legals, we had sublegals. This is one of my better locations. All right. So I, I really, I'm surprised that, I mean, this stark of an example, and it really speaks to the effectiveness of Potsky shrimp and, and crab fuel. So it's a keeper, but he's all by himself. <laughs> the other thing you, you got to consider is the amount of crabbing that's already taken place here. Once yeah, you this, this area opened up. This is one of, this right out of the Port of Everett. If you look around here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boats on this. And look, and look at the pots over here, Chris. Probably the Everett Harbor is one of the most heavily crabbed areas of Puget Sound, which is why it's a great stage to have an experiment like this that, that shows you one of the most heavily fished areas of Puget Sound, mid-season, okay? We didn't have to fish tremendous depths. What we had was really, really good bait in five of the six pots. So, I mean, that says it all right there to me. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, two limits. Two limits of crab, and, and it's pretty short soak, four or five hour soak. Yeah, that's decent, that's decent crabbing. We'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it.